This is the story of the only time in human history that a nuclear state had its nuclear keys activated and was fully prepared to launch a nuclear strike against an enemy. In 1983, the Soviet Union was in full alarm. Their nuclear early warning system had reported a nuclear strike incoming from the United States. The decision of whether or not to launch a retaliatory strike ultimately came upon a man named Stanislav Petrov, who violated Soviet protocol when he reported it as a false alarm. In doing so, Petrov might have prevented an all-out nuclear war between the US and the Soviet Union. But this was not the only time the world had a close call with nuclear war. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in early 1995, American and Norwegian scientists wanted to study the Northern Lights over Svalbard. To achieve this, they launched a Black Brandt 7 rocket carrying research equipment from northwestern Norway. The rocket flew over the same air corridor that a U.S. missile would fly if it launched from the Minuteman 3 nuclear missile silo in North Dakota towards Moscow. The scientists notified 30 countries, including Russia, of this experiment. Despite this, because Russian radar operators had not been notified, they saw this single missile as a potential high-altitude nuclear attack from the United States. This looked like the first stage in a surprise strike because such attacks generate EMPs that can blind Russian radar to other incoming missiles. The Black Brent 7 reached an altitude of 1,453 kilometers, or 903 miles, similar to that of a U.S. Trident missile. Russian nuclear forces were again put on high alert. The situation escalated even further to such a degree that the Russian nuclear briefcase, the Chaget, was brought to President Boris Yeltsin. He had 10 minutes to decide whether or not to launch a retaliatory strike against the United States. Yeltsin activated his nuclear keys during this time, the only known time any nuclear weapon state has done so in history. After waiting out eight minutes, it was determined that the rocket was not headed towards Moscow and a retaliatory strike was called off. After going through such a close call and understanding that it was notified of the experiment, Russia updated its notification and disclosure protocols to prevent such an event from happening again. This episode came to be called the Norwegian Rocket Incident. There have been a few well-known instances in which the world was on the brink of nuclear war, including the Cuban Missile Crisis and the Stanislav Petrov Incident. However, this lesser-known Norwegian Rocket Incident stands out as the only one in which a nuclear state had its nuclear keys activated and was fully prepared to launch a nuclear strike.